Hello makers, welcome to 3D Maker Noob. I'm Joe, if you remember who I am. And today, well, today we're gonna start a new journey. So stick around. Well, it's been a hot minute since I used my 3D Maker Noob handle and I felt that it, it was time to revive it. Kind of, not start over, but continue where we left off when I decided to rebrand the other channel. And what a better way to do that than revisit a machine that I reviewed quite a few years ago. So this is a start of pretty much an epic project for me because I'm about to overhaul the BCN 3D Sigma that I have here. So let's start with a bit of history. About, I believe about four or five years ago, I bought this machine, um, cost me about 2000 euros because well, I wanted to review like a high-end 3D printer on the channel. And I absolutely loved the machine when I got it. It it printed beautifully, you know, it was my first IDEX machine. It spent about six to eight months working flawlessly. However, then things started to take a turn for the worse. And as you can see here, well, it's 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 pretty much dilapidated, full of dust and pretty much forgotten. It has been like that for about three years now in the garage. What happened was, after about six to eight months, I started getting sort of like skipping on the extruder um, and a lot of under extrusion. So I kind of couldn't figure out why it did use or still does use 2.85 millimeter filament. Um, but either way, uh, it turned out to be a, a faulty driver, a stepper driver. So I had that replaced. So it started working again for a few weeks and then I had one of my motor C's, the Axe Axis motor. For those of you who don't know, the Sigma uh, uses NEMA 14 stepper motors, which are relatively small. They tend to overheat and at some point they tend to seize. So then I ended up replacing the stepper motor and the driver for that stepper motor as well. Then eventually there was the Sigma R19 upgrade, which I also got also upgraded. And for some reason it started under extruding again. Turned out I had another stepper driver die. So then I kind of decided to change all the stepper drivers. I also got in touch with George from Envio Engineering. I got myself the Bontech upgrade um, for the extruders. And I also converted it to a, um, an E3D V6 ecosystem. But for some reason, once again, it kept under extruding or skipping. It just, there was something awfully wrong with this machine and I couldn't find out what. And to make matters worse, even the pulleys started clicking. I, I had to swap those out. At some point I just gave up on it. I had spent too much money, too much time trying to fix it. And I completely gave up on it. I put it in the garage and left it there. So a few weeks ago, I had this idea. I, I decided I want to revive this channel because Breaks and Makes has become more of a channel for projects which involve a lot of mixed media even though some of them are 3d printing but i know a lot of people miss the tutorials the upgrades the 3d printer reviews and i youtube kind of told me in its own way that i should stick to my own lane so i'm going to do that on breaks and makes with projects so therefore this channel will coexist as 3d maker noob where it's going to be only only about 3d printing related stuff so anyway what do I plan to do to this machine? Well, there's going to be very little BCN 3D left in it, apart from the frame and some of the mechanics. Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to rip out all the electronics inside and we're going to replace everything with a do it 3 6HC. HC standing for high current and it has six drivers. So it can take six stepper motors because that's what I'm going to need for this because we have one for the Z axis we have two extruders, we have one for the y-axis, and then we have two for the independent extruders. What I'm also going to do is I'm gonna modify the brackets for the x-axis because this currently, as I said, hosts NEMA 14 motors. It, it doesn't work, it just doesn't work. So instead, I want to replace those with NEMA 17 motors. To top that mall off, the cherry on the cake is going to be the Revo Hemera. Um, I want to convert this into a direct drive. I don't want any Bowden. And obviously from 2.85, it's gonna go to 1.75, but it won't just do a Hamera Revo. Uh, we're gonna do the uh, Hamera Excess Revo, which is E3D's upcoming revision of the Hamera, which basically has a much smaller stepper motor. Uh, in fact, it's about 100 grams smaller. Now, 
yes, it's not going to be fast. And the truth being is, I don't care if it's fast or not. Um, I, I don't tend to print like ridiculously fast unless I'm printing with my Voron. I just want it to be reliable, accurate, dependable, and fun. Because ultimately, I, I do miss using this machine. Also, uh, I will be fitting a 4.3 inch panel do just to, you know, top it all off. Now, obviously some things in the Sigma, I cannot just swap out because for example, the brackets on the X axis, they're folded sheet metal. Now, obviously I don't have a sheet metal cutter and I also don't have a folding thingy mabob for the sheet metal. So first we're gonna prototype. We're gonna design some parts. Thankfully, the Sigma is an open source project from BCN3D. So therefore I have all the CAD files and step files in my uh, Fusion 360, which is why I know I can actually fit the Hemera Revo on it. Um, I'm gonna have to do a couple modifications, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Like for example, turning the back of the stepper motor 180 degrees. So the cable plug is at the bottom, not at the top. So it doesn't hit the belts because of the way this is engineered. So for the time being, we'll be using FDM and SLA to prototype the parts, just to make sure that everything fits and everything works properly because I'm gonna have to redesign the purge buckets as well. What I also would like to do is keep the same ribbon cables that the machine has, because if this is successful, um, I'm sure a lot of people that have the Sigma will want to do the same thing because I've already got a lot of people getting in touch with me about this. So what I want to do is kind of keep the same ribbon cables and possibly produce uh, custom PCBs uh, in order to be able to connect the uh, stepper motors and the hot ends and everything um, in order to just basically just have it as seamless as possible. So yes, that is the plan. It is very ambitious. I know I can do it. I know it's gonna take a lot of time, but what I don't want to do is do this project off camera and then just come back and tell you guys, like this is what I did and this is what I did there and possibly miss things. So this is going to be more of a vlog style series because this will be a series. Um, and I will record every step of the way. I will narrate what I'm doing, what I do wrong. Uh, I will show you guys which issues I come across how I go about prototyping, how I go about uh, finding out how to fit the uh, Revo on Fusion 360. And yeah, hopefully you will join me for every step of the way. I do want to mention that this series is sponsored by E3D. I also want to thank Doit for sending me the board and the uh, the panel do in order to be able to convert the Sigma. Now Doit also sent me a Doit 2 with an expansion board. And the reason they sent me that is because this will involve another side project. Now, as I mentioned, the X-axis brackets on the side, they're um, folded sheet metal. And uh, I, 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 as I said, I don't have the machine. I will be prototyping an FDM, but I do wish that the final product is much more solid than that. Now, I have a CNC Minimal um, that I had converted, God, about nine years ago because of a project that I had started and that CNC has been sitting there because it's the electronics are completely outdated. It uses a serial port. Um, so what I will be doing in tandem with this is converting my CNC minimal to work with Doit as well and using its current stepper drivers because they're absolutely massive in order for me to then finally manufacture all the brackets I need um, post 3D printing prototyping. So once it's done, then I have to find a way to manufacture them in billet aluminum or aluminum, um, just, just to have like a really nice finished product because I'm very excited about this project and I really want it to be successful. And if it works out, you never know, maybe I might do kits for those interested. That would be absolutely epic. What'd you guys think? So yeah, that, that's, that's gonna be this. Now, make sure to subscribe because you will want notification if you're interested in this. Plus you're gonna see my pretty face again. I mean, come on, it's the noob. Everyone missed the noob. Everyone asks for the noob and everyone knows me as the noob. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna own the noob. Now, as I said, this is going to be an ongoing project. It's going to be a long project. And the first segment in this, well, apart from this, this will, we'll call it the intro. Uh, the first segment will be to rip out absolutely everything inside. Um, 
and just see what we're working with. I, I kind of have an idea, but I, obviously we're gonna have to see where we're going to put the, uh, the do it board inside. Um, we're gonna have to take out all of the X axes. We're gonna see how, what we're working with. Oh, this is going to be tough, but it's gonna be absolutely awesome. So that is it for today, guys. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you ring the bell for a notification. Um, so you'll, you'll know when this comes up uh, because, well, as soon as this video finishes, uh, then I edit, then I upload, then I'm gonna have to start working on this aside from other projects. But this, this might take priority along with other 3D printing things that I'm doing on this channel, obviously. So yeah, I hope you join me in my journey. I hope we can revive 3D Maker Noob with the same enthusiasm that it had initially. And yeah, it, it's, it's going to be absolutely awesome. So thank you very much for watching. And as always, happy making, guys.